hey guys welcome to another video how you guys doing how you guys doing so in today's video i'm going to be talking about the books i read in january yo i read nine books guys i read freaking nine books six physical books and three books on my kindle so i'm going to be talking about everything 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 <laughs> so the first book i read is uh where's the first one okay this is the first one i'm this is not even arranged the first book i read is this one the girl who fell beneath the sea it talks about a girl that jumped into the water okay so she has a brother and in her village they sacrifice girls to the sea god so the girl that was supposed to go that particular year her brother was in love with her so the girl was hesitating so this one just decided to go in place of the girl so that her brother would be happy and her brother is actually a very nice guy so she jumped into the sea and then her fate was connected to the sea god but there was a particular guy i forgot his name a particular guy that is always cutting the fate of string so when you jump into the sea there's a fate of string string of fate one of the two <laughs> that connects you to the sea god and they sever that that string so that the sea god will not be vulnerable because anything that happens to you will happen to the sea god so if they kill you the sea god will probably die because of that so they have to like cut it so this particular guy is always the one cutting it every single time they sacrifice somebody yeah so in the story we are going along with her on how she is actually going to find her soul back because when they sever that bond her soul leaves her body so she has to get her soul back and then you start to understand why the sea god is even in a coma and what's happening um i really really enjoyed it i gave this a four stars because it was just so easy to understand the world it's a world of spirits and she's human and in that world so yeah i also liked the love I, I feel like if i tell you who she fell in love with you already understand how the whole story is i read the switch on my kindle this was an arc that was sent to me by net gali talks about this particular lady that is sick in the head i think this lady is very very sick because she will meet up with someone and then switch husbands in a way that the husbands will not know like she'll be your friend she'll make sure she's your friend then switch your husband you you go and sleep with her husband and then she will sleep with your own husband and she says it's for fun but you later start to realize that it's not for fun that there are so many other things that are inside the story and since it's a thriller so i don't want to actually spoil it but honestly i found myself not liking any of the characters to be quite honest i thought i was going to understand her better when i realized the reason for the switch but i just realized that she's just a freaking wicked person she's just there to destroy other people's life i was really pissed off let me know i was pissed off i was like what's this so then i continued my ice panel barbarian series i read barbarian lover and barbarian mine i don't know which one is first but i gave both of them four stars you know this ice panel barbarian talk about these girls that were kidnapped and taken to another planet so is how each person actually finds their love but i really really liked was it kira i've forgotten guys i've actually forgotten barbarian lover is about kira and aiko kira is the only one that could understand the aliens when they just landed in the planet she had something that here that makes her understand so she wanted to get rid of that thing because they are coming for her there's something that happened to her i, I just connected with her because i i really really liked her story a backstory and i could see her struggles unlike the other girl in the book too Barbarian mine is about rook and hello <laughs> this one was actually funny because Rook was not even part of the tribe. He was an outcast. He was very, very savage, very, very archaic. He doesn't even know anything about some... He, 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 even his language self, he cannot even speak. So getting to see how Halo was able to communicate with him is actually really, really sweet. And there was something that he realized at the end that actually made me feel, wow, I, I felt sorry for him. I felt sad for him because he actually had to go through life thinking that these were the enemies when... Just I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying not to spoil it. The next book I read is A Good Girl's Guide to Mother by Oli Jackson. This was so so sweet. It's about a girl named Peep. A murder incident happened in a city. Would I call it a city or a town? Town, and she decided to work on that as a project work. So discover who really really killed who and what happened. So she's trying to prove that Sal is innocent. Sal is already dead. So the family were being shamed and all that so she's she just wanted to actually really really get to the bottom of the whole thing i really really enjoyed it you get to see how smart this girl is she's so freaking smart at one point i felt like am i reading about a 
a girl like that is 16 years old or something or this is a like 25 26 years old person doing this because all the questions she was asking are questions that the police are supposed to ask so you go through a project with her and also she got threatened of course she get threatened and you get scared i was scared for her i felt everything for her but the only thing is i felt like there were some repetitions and i was really really getting so confused because i was like we already know who the points of interest are but you keep repeating those same point of interest so yeah I was scratching my own head too, but I really enjoyed it. It was 4.5 stars. Very, very good. Actually, very, very good. I can't wait to actually get to the book too. Oh my god, the next book I read is Archer's Voice by Mia Shedron. This book was so, so sweet. It talks about Brie and Asha. Brie is a girl that has gone through a difficult time in her life so she decided to actually just leave her town to another town trying to start all over in another place or take a break the book started with Acha's childhood what happened when he was young and it was a little bit confusing but it was actually really really sad so when Brie got his town you know she she was new and there's this guy Travis that was actually interested in her but she wasn't really interested in having a relationship with anybody then she came across Acha and everybody in that town was like Acha is deaf but actually he's not deaf he just does not talk and we'll see why he cannot talk so Brie knows sign language so she decided to try that with <laughs> honestly it's so funny because you start to see how Brie is all over the place where she meets Acha almost all the time she meets me she you get to see how she fell in love with Acha um what happened in that their little town and how Acha gets to be confident in himself because he, what he went through was actually really really sad and also broke him you know you get to see how Brie actually helped him i like the fact that he you know it was not just like okay i meet you i fall in love with you and then bam we'll be together there was was there a third act breakup not really a third act breakup but it was very very reasonable to... <laughs> this was a 4.5 stars for me i really really enjoyed it i didn't give it a five stars because i didn't like the spice I'm sorry because it was just you know Acha is a novice so and I sorry I'm just so sorry <laughs> but I really loved every other thing. Oh the next book I read is The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. This was a five star book for me. I I really really loved it. So we are in um wait I forgot their names. Jesus it's my favorite book and I forgot their names. How is that possible? Hannah and Jack Stapleton. Hannah is a bodyguard, like she works in this agency. And Jack Stapleton is an actress. He's popular. A lot of people like him. When you are popular like that, some people will want to kill you also. Or some people would want to actually have you to themselves. And he wants to come to see his family. And he doesn't want his parents to know that his life is in danger. Because <laughs> this talk has said, God, this book was so, so funny. So he decided to fake date with Hannah and you go back home you start to see some things that happened in the past i really really enjoyed this book because we are in anna's head <laughs> and this anna the way she thinks is so funny i annotated a lot i was just laughing i'm like what how can you even think like this what are you saying what the wrong <laughs> oh 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 that reminds me then anna has an ex-boyfriend oh my god this ex-boyfriend let, let me tell you guys so her mother died yesterday today she went to work and she's a workaholic so the boss was like no don't come to work today because your mother died yesterday you need to you know you need to relax but she was like please give me something to do i cannot focus i cannot relax please you know then her boyfriend broke up with her that day like what the fuck what kind of boyfriend is this i wish he suffered more than he suffered but he not suffered so much like that oh I really, really like this story so much. I actually want to read it again. And I want to read more of Catherine Center's uh, books. Yes. Oh, check out Made by Ali Hazelwood. Oh, I'm so happy about this one. So it talks about Nolan and Mallory. Mallory used to play chess, but something happened that she stopped. She blames herself uh, because of what happened. And she took up all the old responsibility of her family. And she decided to drop out of school and stop chess. Um, Nolan is the world champion chess. World chess champion. So Nolan has never been beaten. Like he has been beaten, but it's not frequent for you to see him get beaten. But this particular day, they played chess and she beat him and he was so shocked and he was hooked on her from that moment. He fell in love with her. He was like, What is happening? Like he, he wanted to play a game with her, but she she you know she still she just came back to chess for a particular reason because she needed the money. You you understand? So you have to see you see how their love grows and uh the found family in it, his friends. Oh my god, there's one stupid boy inside this book <laughs> that one i love the way he was battered he was beaten 
in the chest. The only thing I don't like about him is the fact that I felt like it was not YA, YA. Because the way they were talking about sex in this book is just so raw. It was explicit. I understand like sex sexuality should be, you know, uh, accepted. Accept, blah, blah, accepted. <laughs> but I just felt like it was just a lot. Another thing I didn't like, I didn't like Sabrina. That's Mallory's sister. I felt like slapping her face up through this book. I felt like, like, what is wrong with you? Someone's trying to take care of you and you're blaming her for it. <sighs> I'm so glad that that girl was not my own sister because she will see eh yeah so i really enjoyed it it was just so nice seeing all the you know getting all the memories of chess because i used to play chess when i was younger and i was in a club and uh, but now i don't remember shit but this book was like you know me reliving that moment i didn't even know that there were like, serious championship where you can win money oh if i had known maybe i'll have even continued the last book i read but i don't know by having I actually filmed a reading vlog for this, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. But I really, really, really loved it. I gave this one a 4.5 stars. Um, it talks about Alexis and Daniel. Alexis was driving from her auntie's uh, burial, and then she fell into a ditch. So Daniel saved her, and they are both from different parts of the world. Alexis is from the you know high class. Daniel is from the town, and they all have expectations but put on them by their society and their people that they grew up with so you get to see how they come together you know i love the book so much because even this small town is actually very very magical in a way and everybody cares for each other the reason why i gave it a 4.5 and not a 5 size because it started as age gap but in this aspect she is the one older than he is and that did not even irk me out i even totally forgot that they had age gap because their chemistry was so perfect the reason why I, I, I was so pissed off was because of the number of times that they had to remind me that she is rich and he is not rich. Or she is from this past class of the world and he is from this class of the world. I, I, I knew it. Like, we already, you said it already in the first time. You said it the second time. You said it the third time. But saying it like almost seven times, is it got too much. And, you know, hammering it and hammering it, I felt like it was unfair to Daniel because... Within a blink of an eye, I feel like your class can change. So, what? Uh, but I really, really love the fact that Daniel ch taught her how to cook, how to... Oh my god, it was so... I don't know how to explain this, but it was so, so, so good. I I was just laughing in some part. I'm not sure the part where he wanted to send a D-pics to her. <laughs> and then one of the... <laughs> and then dog came. He came and brought ring light <laughs> for him to use okay so I'm, I'm actually just you'll see everything in the reading vlog hopefully i i, I uploaded it this month so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this my camera kept dying on me i don't even know i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching deuces oh my god it's dying again <laughs> let's take a thumbnail this guy was like a freaking like a like a i don't know how to explain it oh shut up uh I forgot their name no so the first book i read oh my god oh my god i'm supposed to be talking about them in order but they're not even in order